What's up, everybody? Welcome to the K-Pop Kimchi Podcast, your number one podcast for girl groups with the number one fanboys. I'm your host, Justin Turnell, with my co-host, Brian Limper, and it's time for another Universe Ticket Review, episode... Four. Because apparently somehow we are off a week, which I don't understand. Yeah, we're trying to play catch up with the whole show. But episode five either came out already or is coming out this week. Yeah. And we'll do that at the end of this week. Oh, yeah. But we complained last week about how we watched episode three and there's no eliminations and Justin swore he saw them. And I'm like, where are these people getting this information from? Like, why it's not even happened yet? But then we found out, apparently, episode four came out and there was eliminations. There was, somehow. But I still don't understand how there's episode four when we've done them weekly since episode one. And Maybe somehow we got behind. Double them up. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't really know, but we're getting back on track here. Yeah, we're trying to catch up. So, we talked last week how they did their, like, little revenge battle dance thingies, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And we left off with Dolphin from the last episode. And this week, it showed the other part of that, and they did, did Red Flavor. And surprisingly, the Dolphin team won, which I'm pretty sure they're the losers. I yeah. thought that they were yeah. not going to win because Red Flavor was actually really good. Yeah, pretty good job. But Mike. Dolphin won. Then we got the last concept, which was one everyone waited for, which was Charismatic. Mm-hmm. And the winning team did Doo 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 by Blackpink, and the losing team did Fire by 21. Mm-hmm. And for once... Four episodes in, we finally got some backstory and history of Belle from Signature. Yeah. We waited four episodes this year, and we did it. We figured they would eventually. We just didn't know how long it would take, but yeah, four episodes. And they also did our favorite thing where last week, it left off with Belle, like, being a, I guess, the teacher, leader person. And, like, showed her showing the girls how to do dances and do positions and all this stuff. Right. And it seemed like she was, like, really angry and, like, yelling at him. Like, you need to do it this way or do it this way. Like, she was, like, an evil dictator. And, of course, it showed her this week showing the girls how to do it. And it was, like, all very constructive and helpful and everybody loved her. Yeah, she was just uh, a good leader for her team, honestly. She got picked to be the leader and she did a good job. Classic bait and switch. That's what they do every time. It really is. You know, I think I expected at this point, but I really thought for once, this show's been pretty straightforward. I thought they were going to actually, like, show it and she was going to be, like, a terrible leader. But she was actually really good. No, she was solid. So the fire team went first. That stage was awesome. They did really great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all the judges were just super into it the entire time. They really were. Then the winning team did the uh, Blackpink song. And, of course, you know, everybody's into that one, too, because it's just people super hyped. Yeah, it was just a uh, a battle of, like, pretty even teams, honestly. And they're the only ones that had, like, kind of a more edgy concept in their clothing yeah. and stuff. The other ones were all kind of, you know, well, what are the other themes? Like, sparkling, cute, enchanting? Those are like cares- no, this one was the charismatic. Yeah, it was stuff like that, though. It was uh, not quite this concept. And both teams did really good, and at the end of the day, the winning team won. That did the do 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 do. Yeah. Well, they pretty much won because after that we got to our actual eliminations. Oh yeah. But it's weird because in this episode it even said, so you have a winning team and a losing team, mm-hmm. and the only people that can get passed on to the next round by the unicorns or the judges, yeah, are the people on the winning team. But out of the people on the winning team, there's like eight people. Only four of them can get chosen. Once you're one of the four not chosen. You go back into the pool with the losing teams. Right. And you're pretty much just all in the same exact position. Yeah. You have to like get voted in by the fan votes or universe ticket voters. Right. So at the end of the day, winning only gave you like a 25% chance of like making it. Or I guess a 50-50 chance of making it. Because yeah. only half the group got voted in and the other half just went. Well, I don't know. I guess it depends how you look at it. Because if you have two four ha- or quadrants, four, two, yeah. quadrants yeah. two are on the losing team. Two are on the winning team, and only four of those out of the one quadrant get picked. It gives you like a 25% chance. And the other 75% of the girls are back in the pool. Yeah. Or if you just want to go off the winning team, you have a 50-50 chance of making it. Right. I don't know. Numbers, huh? But, yeah. So, after that, we finally got some kind of elimination stuff. And really, all the judges did was call up the winning teams one by one. And they announced their four picks for who was going to be passed in the next round. Mm-hmm. And the Dolphin team went first. And I'll, first off, I'll tell you right now. Some of the girls that made it don't remember them being in the show because they never showed them. But the other girls that made it, we 100% said last episode we're going to make it because yeah, they was not, were shown on the camera not, 100 times. Not really shocking. And the girls that made it here were also shown at the beginning of the show on the camera mm-hmm. 100 times. We also noticed they did like a little like intro thing, like how they're like, oh yeah, girls following their dreams, 82 tickets, blah, yeah, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. And literally the first like... Ten girls that were shown were like the most popular members of the show already. So it's amazing how that works. Kind of seems like there's an agenda going on mm. here, but I don't know. 
But first it was the Dolphin team, and then the girls that were chosen were Lee Yunche, Kim Subin, Kodoko, and Huang Xian. The TT team was Lim Sowan, Gabby, Yuri, and Nako. The Diva team, which I think, honestly, out of all the groups we saw, was maybe one of the worst ones that won. Literally could not sing or dance. and just all fell apart real quick. A tough, they started out real strong, but uh, yeah, they had a tough time with the stamina. And that was Oh Yuna, Jang Sua, Idota Yui, and John Jin Young. And they made it. Then the, into the New World team was Bang Yuna. What? This name that is crazy. Gyorion? Gyorion? Lee Hyun and Lee Sunwoo. And then from the last team, the Doo 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 team, it was Bay Yaram, Nizzy, Kim Sujin, and Jayla. Which, like I said, no surprise there because. Mm-hmm. Literally, as we're watching it, you can tell like who they're showing the most out of all the people. Like, yeah, it's not like yeah. a shock to anyone it's at all. It's not like randomized. If anybody said any of the girls that didn't get picked were shocked they didn't get picked, you're crazy. Yeah, I I don't know. You'd have to have like I guess really really be paying attention then if there was like a upset. You know what I mean? Like because we watched for a little bit of the behind the scenes like dancing. Um, training montage today because right. we really want to see if bell like yelled at people and she didn't yeah but i kid you not when we watched the fire like dance practice thing only three of the girls were shown in that thing like the whole time like yeah not a lot of even screen time there's three girls just like all these shows but yeah it was uh pretty obvious i don't know i feel like it's way more obvious now than it is in other yeah. ones, because sometimes it show like reactions from like a panel, like they pan around mm-hmm. and show different people. Right. And on this one, even in the show, they'll show like reactions for stuff. Right. And it's just the same girls that they show doing the stuff too. Right, right, right. But maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just my trained eye for. I don't know of rigging shows. Yeah. Trying because... to catch them before they uh, cheat. Because I don't know, it's kind of sketchy. But then we actually got to where they selected the other half of the girls. Mm-hmm. And those are the ones that were voted in by the people who were actually voting in the show, which is not us. Because one, I don't know how to do it. It yeah, shows no, us. No idea how to vote. But I also just have not felt like I needed to vote. I'm just letting the, letting the fans vote. Like, I'm just letting, letting all take the, its course. Yeah, I'm just watching. Like Everyone can go vote for who they want to. So hopefully your faves made it. Because I, I guess the only one I know that really got eliminated was... Uh, the girl from Bust or yeah, the girl from Busters. Oof, she was rough. She was pretty bad. Though. She was not, Sorry, she was not very, good, very good. Busters fans. Um, the girl from Majors. Oh, she was also not very good. So far on this show, all the people who are in groups currently or were in groups are just the worst people ever. I will say we did finally get a flashback to seeing Belle do her little one-on-one performance that we didn't get to see. Not good. It was not very good. And she lost. And the judges even said it wasn't good. Even though. She got two points out of five, So, but I don't really remember who she went against. Um, she we, went against uh, Harem's did, sister, Harem. Did, did we see what she did? I don't remember. No. I was going to say, maybe she wasn't that great either. But, yeah, Belle did not look stellar in her uh, individual showcase thing. Yeah, I don't know what's up with former with the, idols or current idols like actually not being good. They're just not, none of them are. The girl from Majors was not good. The girl um, from Busters was not was good. was, like, maybe the worst person on the Yun whole Chae show. Yunche was like, pretty bad. Yunche was not good. And, I don't know. Um, at least Belle had a little bit of redemption, I'd say, with her group performance. And they actually gave her, like, a whole little video montage of them talking about her being in a girl group and, like, yeah. had, like, a whole bunch of signatures. stuff. they, like, stuff. respected like, her, and that's kind of why they picked her as the leader and stuff like that. And Obviously, she's, episode like, the four, Which, one. in real life, is, like, day two. I know. It's, like... Still, everything is shot in the same day. Like, but it's weird. Yeah, that's kind of been the theme of the whole show. Is if you are an idol or were, like, you are not very good. But somehow you have enough popularity to get you into the next round. Yeah. So we got to actual eliminations for the other girls, which I guess technically weren't eliminations, quote unquote, because unlike other shows, when everyone's there and they like call your name and you see the other girls sitting in the back like crying. There was none of that. Nope. They literally had the girls who already made it sitting in chairs in this like whimsical. Yeah, it was a really cool place. Whimsical place with this big screen, with, like, like hanging these glass f- chairs, hanging plants. It would look like a you'd have like a wedding reception there or something like. It that. It looked like a really fancy wedding reception from a crazy rich agent. Yeah, <laughs> it was like a really cool place. 
but then show like the girls who made it on the screen's name, like like a, I'm talking this is like a big screen, like a movie theater, a big screen. like LED thing with a little stage, and their name would pop up, and they'd walk from the back, like it was like a surprise, and, and that was it, and yeah. Then, so there was no like, oh, it's you versus you, or oh, nope. here's the three people, one of you makes, the other one doesn't, and yeah. It's just, it just like here's who made it, so. And the first thing got announced was Bell, then Jelly made it, Bay Hara made it, Nana made it, Kim Suman, Odian. Choi Heron. Also, it's important to remember, a lot of these girls, I didn't really take the time to go find which ones are which, but a lot of them are actually on the teams at one, so it's not like... Right. These are all like, oh, these are from the losers. It's like... Yeah. Honestly, yeah. out of all these, there could have only been like 10 of them from the losing teams, and the rest of them are from the winning teams. I don't really know. Right. So that's my bad. Sorry, fans. Then there's Kwon Hyu Young, Narumi, Vanessa, Yona, Alicia, um, Natsumi... Yewon, Lee Suen, Heo Sunbin, Real, and Minari. And the last one that got introduced, that's a big thing. Like, oh, who's the last person? Oh, gosh. Could be anybody. And, of course, it was freaking Yoon Che from DIA. Yoon Che made it. Woohoo. Oh, my gosh. I just don't. It was, don't like, know. not surprising, but at the same time, it was. I guess the DIA fans came together and uh, voted for to get that. Like freaking Goku collecting the I think, spirit bomb. I think it was saying the number of, like, in the corner, but I don't even remember what she was. I've, like, because I, I don't think, I don't know. I could be wrong, but there was a number in the bottom left-hand corner when they came out, so I don't know if that was, like, the vote, the fan votes. Like, I don't know if they were in order coming out, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think also, they were. Also, we don't really know because it could have been edited in any way, and they just wanted to make it most dramatic for Inche because that was the one that was, like, the most up in the air. Because she was all sad she didn't get, like, the judge's pass, which, I mean, she probably she shouldn't it. have. So, she, I mean, in the group performance, she wasn't – she was fine. But it wasn't, like, a big, like, wow, look at this improvement type thing. The only thing I do remember from last week, because I couldn't find the same web page that had the results for it. Yeah. Was that of a, the Do-Do-Do team, which was, like, all, like, the really good winning girls, mm-hmm. only one of them didn't make it into the final one. So yeah, yeah. They had, like, a dominant performance. I don't remember what the other one was, but there was another, maybe, was it the Red Flavor one, I want to say, where all of them except for one didn't make it, so. I don't know. There's a lot of popular girls in those groups, which, I mean, makes sense. Those are the winner groups, so those are the better yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Belle, I did not know if she was going to make it or not, but she did. Yoon Che, I don't know how you made it, but you did. Yeah, Bell had a nice kind of, like, comeback after being the leader and the, like, the judges, or the one judge had, like, nice things to say about her. She said she could be better still, but she's had a lot of nice things to say to her, so at least she kind of had her little redemption arc in the episode. Oh, I'm sorry, and the one girl's name is Lee Suvin. Suvin. V. Oh, Suvin. Suvin. Interesting. Sorry for all you Lee Suvin fans out there that messed her name up. Well, there are some. She did get votes. Um, I wasn't shocked Jelly made it. No. Or Nana, or Harem. I mean, of all the people I, like, knew... Or Alicia. I wasn't, like, shocked of anybody. Mainly but because then, we saw them a hundred times. And then, but there are, like, still people I don't really know who they are, so I'm like, oh, they made it good for them. But of the people we actually did kind of know, it was like, yeah, they're going to make it. Like, the people that we've seen their faces enough to know who they are with yeah, their like, actual names, they all made it. Yeah. Except Angson, she did not make it. She did not. But... Or you? What was her name? You? Yui? Like you? Like why you? Yeah. Yeah, she didn't make it either. She did pretty good. But again, when it comes to the fans, who knows? Who knows who they're gonna vote for? I don't know. This group is. I'm not sure. We'll see. Still up in the air on how I feel about this. Yeah, I don't know. But I mean, it's. I don't know. The performances have been fine. It's not bad. No. Also, I will say at the end, there's like talented of, people, so that's like, cool. Announced their little next step process and what's going on. It's oh, kind of, yeah. It this seems cool. cool, but also it's kind of confused about it. Mm-hmm. So I guess they'll hash that out more on maybe the episode that currently we need to be watching this yeah, week. the caught up episode. <laughs> Pretty much. And they have like, this little pyramid in this prism. P-R-I-S-M. Mm-hmm. The lowest rank is M. So basically on the base floor. And the way you can get up higher is by getting the unicorn votes and the... The universe ticket people votes. Yeah. Which, I mean, I guess that's how any show works. But what I didn't understand is, like, if you get votes from both people, you can move up two to three spaces at a time. That's what they said. So, like, are they voting for them to move up? Or are they, like, 
you don't move up. Like, I don't understand how that works. So, like, we go vote for, like, Yoon Che every single day to move up a space. If she gets a ton of votes, she just can be in the top one and be like, oh, you're in. I I don't know. It kind of seemed like it. Like I don't know. The way they explained it was kind of weird. Because as soon as maybe you, there's, like, very select time periods where you can Because, like, you move in to, like, different levels. And it said as soon as you get the P1, only eight people can be in the P1. Yeah. You're in the final group regardless That's how you debut, happens. yeah. So, like, essentially what they're saying is next... I don't want to say next week, but who knows? It's probably already happened. <laughs> it's like over. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you can be in the M, do something amazing, get everyone's votes, and be shot up into the P ranking, and be the first person in the final lineup before anyone else I even gets there. I think that's kind of what they said. Kind they, of like, like I said, it's like the amazing race. Like the people are just like running to this P level, and whoever gets there first is there. Then you like can't come out. Yeah, of they did say that if you make it to the P, you are you're in you, the final you made it. And it did not say that everyone gets there at the same time either. So. I'm guessing people can be there. There could be like a one or two people or three people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's not like, oh, well, eight people will move in at the same time. It's not like normal shows where you go to the finale and, and you're like, just like, here's a surprise. People. Yeah. Which is, it kind of seems cool, but like you said, we'll have to watch in a couple days. Because I mean, and like if, hash it out a little more. I don't know if it's like, would be weird because if people like knew how to get people in the top, they just shoot them to the top. Right I know, away. like, what if the people just like, well, we already have three members of the group, so like the show's which over. I'm sure like you can't do that. I don't know. I mean, we watched it. It was through. a very brief explanation. We watched it like one time too, and we're like, ah, we'll just figure it out. As I mean, it, it seems on. cool. It does. We don't really see anything like that? It does seem cool. But also, I just feel like this is like the ultimate way of just rigging something to get the people you want real quick. Right, right. And you're like, well, the popular vote wins, and you're now in the top it's category. Like, in the NBA, like, they have Game 7 series. Yeah. And it's, like, the main team that's the best team will, like, destroy the team in the very first game. You're like, well, you should just automatically be in the next round. Right. But you still have to play the other so many games before you get to yeah, it. Yeah, like a sweep. And then if it takes long enough, the other team can get lucky, and you have to go full Game 7s, and it's just, like, what a waste of time. Like, why do we get here? It's, like, do we need to go through all the episodes to get to the final, or? Yeah, I don't know. Can we just get it taken care of in the first three games and get it over with, or what's going on here? That's a good question. Because I'm, I'm assuming sure. a lot of it's pre-recorded, like everything else. Oh, sure. So it's not like live, where like no, it's like a reality show where literally it's like oh, live voting, vote now. Like if you vote for the next ten minutes, you get like double star points, and you really right. shoot that person up into the finals. That'd be kind of cool if it was like every week, just legit live. That would be dope if like someone made it this next episode and they're like already there. You're like, well, we got one group member, and it's just someone already sitting up there. Yeah, like, I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. So, like, if they do make it then real quick, are they just, like, gone for the rest of the show until the group debut? Do they just, like, hang out Do they still have watch? to do, like, activities? Like I don't know. Yeah, they're, like, sit out of the bowl game? I don't know. That's a good question. Apparently, they're very well prepared because I saw that Universe ticket albums are already on sale. In the yeah, what the heck? <laughs> so, is, is this show done? Like, did we miss it? Did we already have... Is it five episodes and that's it? I don't know. That's really funny. Of, you could already buy them. There's a lot of unanswered questions I got here. Wait, was it, like... So what's the songs on it? I don't know. I didn't learn. Oh, I, I didn't know if it was like, is that like album. what the group's called? <laughs> no, it just says universe ticket. Spoiled. Yeah, I know. Here's more spoilers. You can go by the, I wonder if it's just for the show. It's just the opening song. That's it. Yeah, look. Universe There's ticket. two album. versions. Two huh. versions. It just says universe ticket. I just want to know what the songs are. Maybe it's just like the, the pick me song. Oh, look, you get a photo book of everyone. Is that everyone Where is that for Girls Planet? What the and heck? You get an album? That's cool. Oh my gosh. Look at all those photo cards. <laughs> you get cards of everybody? That's so fun. It's actually pretty intense. That's really you cool. You get like a photo card of everyone? That's awesome. Where's that for Girls Dude, Planet? And you get the universe You get a ticket. universe ticket. So yeah, I don't know. That's kind of... That's fun. Interesting. Good for... Uh, Almost as interesting as when I opened up that uh, secret number album and i got a sweatshirt oh yeah that was pretty cool too i don't think we talked about that on the podcast that's a that real happened. real universe ticket but yeah so that's episode four a lot of unanswered questions a lot of <laughs> other questions a lot of things that kind of got solved i guess mm -hmm. but episode five is going to be out supposedly sometime if it's not out already. already is right i don't know but we'll cover that this weekend and we'll get back to you on that and we'll see what happens yeah but uh also let us know how many episodes this show is, because I have no idea. I don't either. I, don't I mean, are we like halfway? Are we almost done? I don't know. It's got to be kind of soon. I mean, we're already halfway through the girls, but... And it's episode five, so I mean, yeah. most of these are usually like 11 so, or 10 episodes. Oh, so. gosh. <laughs> but, e. all right, yeah, and uh, we're trying to catch up, but until next time, that was episode four, Universe Taker Review. 
We'll catch you next time for episode 5. We love you guys. Peace. Later.